you shouldn't believe anything they say because the truth is they don't believe anything they say. We cannot have a free society if most of the speech in this country is controlled by a handful of left-wing oligarchs in Silicon Valley. Florida's Department of Education, who is rejecting a 41% of math textbooks submitted for public school use, arguing they include impermissible and prohibited topics, including critical race theory. We are respecting people's individual freedom in this state. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has signed a 15-week abortion ban into law. Florida has stood as freedom's vanguard. The Stop Woke Act bans any school lessons or workplace training, including anything that says a person can be inherently racist or sexist. They effectively suppress views that conflict with the overall meta-narrative that the elites in our country want. A controversial bill that could wind up banning books from public schools books. cleared another hurdle in the state Senate today. Critics call it homophobic and the legislative equivalent of censorship. They think of Florida now, they think of the free state of Florida, which is great. Uh, but I also want Florida to be known as the brick wall against all things woke. What is wrong with being awake? What is wrong with being aware? Why are they saying things about this word that implies that you are oriented and you're, you're, you're alert? Why, why is that a bad thing? Because they don't want you to know anything meaningful about how to prevent history from repeating itself. You look at all that crap that he just suppressed in Florida, everything from voting to who counts the votes to, uh, uh, you know, teaching math and learning history and women's you know autonomy women's ability to uh, direct their own lives the freedom to direct your own reproductive health and your own reproductive life that's a threat to them everything about choice everything about uh, free thinking everything about math now math is 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 something that they must defeat it's something Listen, I'm telling you the reason why they're doing it is because they're creating an oligarchy and they want, and this is why they're going after giant corporations now in a state where $75 billion worth of revenue is generated by that corporation. They want kickback. They want to turn this into an autocratic oligarchy and that is what they admire about Vlad. It's why they supported him before this uh, you know, heinous uh, butchery and it's why they still secretly do. They just love the idea of, of, of owning social media. They love the idea of propaganda. They love the idea of preventing people from being able to guide their own lives, be totally free to choose for themselves what is right for them, what's right for their families, what's right for their children, I, it's it's so bizarre and it's so counter to what we think America is about and what we think America actually stands for. And yet it's succeeding. It's succeeding in certain states. It's succeeding in Texas. It's succeeding in Florida. It's succeeding in Idaho, in Missouri, in Kentucky. I, although we do, I will say this, we have a Democratic governor in Kentucky who vetoes the bills as fast as they come down the, 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 the conveyor belt of, of, vote, uh, of suppression, freedom suppression. They want to control not who just vote. I mean, Florida, they just, uh, they, they just uh, jiggered their maps here to uh, take black districts and to break them up so that black people are dis you know, dispersed in other districts, in, in wider, wider districts, they're dispersed so that the, the, the power that they had as being a unit is now dispersed and they're you know, uh, put into you know, white districts so that the power of the community has no power. So they're very interested in you know, uh, uh, suppressing everything America is about, every democratic principle, every free speech principle, every principle of, of, of capitalism and commerce. It must all go. Learn, man, who, who in the world? Okay, I'll tell you what the deal with the math books is because we, I actually started looking into it and uh, some of my friends looked into it too and they were like, oh, you know, there's gotta be some business uh, you know, interest in, in, in banning these math books, otherwise it makes no sense. And uh, yeah, there is. Robin in uh, Harlem, you know my friend Robin? Robin actually sent me an article that she found that said that the K through five math books in Florida uh, were purchased from Accelerate, accelerate Learning, Accelerate Learning. 
So Accelerate Learning, who the hell are they? Well, it turns out that the, uh, the, the brand new Republican governor of Virginia, uh, Glenn Youngkin, yeah, Glenn Youngkin was the CEO of the Carlisle Group, this massive, massive, uh, you know, uh, investment group. And they bought Accelerate, Accelerate Learning. Yeah, they bought it. And uh, so you have this global investment firm that the former governor, well, that the former, uh, well, he's the current Virginia governor, who was the former CEO of the Carlisle Group, who purchased Accelerate Learning, uh, actually owns the books that Ron DeSantis said are good and banned all the books that aren't from Accelerate Learning, that aren't from the Carlisle Group, that aren't Glenn Youngkin's old company. You see what I'm saying? It's all, it's, it's all about the grift. It's all a giant con. The whole thing. That's what's going on with the math books. Banning math books. Because he said that in the math books was critical race theory. And when, you know, Mr. Transparency there was asked to show, like, what in the math books was, uh, you know, violative of your idea that critical race theory is happening in schools and needs to be banned, he said, none of your business. That's Mr. Transparency. It's a business deal. And another psycho Republican governor, Glenn Youngkin, is responsible for... Oh, she needs Velcro. That's my little Ruth. Every time we start talking about this topic of fascism and she she just falls off. She, I honestly, I almost have the same reaction when you tell me about the Carlisle Group owning all these books. That's an insane factoid that needs to be repeated, to say the least. And the fact that she had that reaction is completely, you know, warranted. Yes, it is. Uh, you know, so the first thing that Glenn Youngkin did as governor of Virginia was to sign an executive order into quote, ending the use of inherently divis divisive concepts, including critical race theory, and restoring excellence in K-12 through public education in the Commonwealth. This is exactly what the Florida Stop Woke Act says. I mean, so they're sharing all this language. They're sharing their desire to purchase books from their own selves and ban books that aren't from their own selves, that they wouldn't make money off of, that there's not a possibility that they would get kickback from. This is how oligarchy actually rolls. This is what it looks like. This is what it sounds like. This is what it smells like. This is how you affect it. This is what you do. And then you get a whole bunch of suburban housewives and you start speaking to them about how there's woke stuff in the math books. And they don't even know what that means, but now they're against it. There is woke stuff in the history books, and they don't know what that means, but now they're against it. There's woke stuff, and the woke stuff is being brought to you by pedophiles and groomers. Well, now you're subhuman, and you must be hated, right? Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.